Welcome back guys and today we are going to talk about five most popular applications which are built on top of a Ethereum network. So if you go to CoinMarketCap and you can click actually over here on MarketCap and select tokens only to get screen like this and we are going to take a look at top 100 tokens which are built on top of other networks to see which one is the most popular base to build upon. So as you can see the most popular coin on which people build their own tokens is of course Ethereum. And you can sort it like this, just click on platform and if you scroll down to the end of this page you can see that only 6 out of top 100 coins are not built on top of Ethereum. So the second most popular is NEO with 4 out of 100 and then there is Omni with 2 out of 100. So Ethereum has 94 out of 100 most popular tokens and I was interested in taking a look at how many people actually use those tokens on Ethereum platform. And the results were actually really surprising because such a small amount of people actually use those tokens or projects that were built on top of Ethereum that I couldn't actually believe it how early we are in this game. So the most popular a platform that you can use on top of Ethereum is actually Edex Exchange. And Edex Exchange has 6,500 daily users in every 24 hours. So if you used Edex once in last 24 hours, you are one of those 6,500 people that use Edex Exchange. So Edex Exchange uh, uses smart contracts so you can trade Ethereum for any other ERC20 token that is listed here and mostly tokens are listed here before even being listed on any other exchanges because they do it all automatically through smart contracts and it has six and a half thousand daily users which is by far the most that any other uh, project on Ethereum has but this is still such a low amount because if you compare that to even early days of the internet it uh, it is like we are like in 60s or 70s and not in 90s so cryptocurrencies have such a long way to go that you are one of the only few people that use things like this. So six and a half thousand daily users and you get number one place. And let's take a look at second most used platform. So second most used thing is Fork Delta and this is also the centralized exchange for ERC20 tokens and Fork Delta is a fork of Ether Delta exchange and it has 2200 daily users. So you can see we went from 6,500 to 2200 users. But this exchange has such a low volume that you can see that coins have not even like lines, they just have little dots right here because the volume is so low on these exchanges that the spread is actually huge. You can see the difference between buying and selling prices. It is about 30% just on, on this one coin and you cannot trade coins profitably. Most of the times so we're here unless you are really, really early because if some token, ERC20 token gets released, you can buy it here or on other decentralized exchanges first, even before they get listed anywhere else. So you can see that the centralized exchanges get top two places and they actually get even the third place which is Bancor Network. And this is also the centralized exchange but they only get 560 daily users but they got $150 million in funding. So they got $150 million in funding, but they only get 560 daily active users. So this is something like $300,000 of funding per one daily active user. So if you use some of those things like Fork Delta, Bank or Ether Delta or something like that, you are one of really few people that actually do that and you should feel actually special about it. So the next thing is CryptoKitties, which was really popular some time ago and now it gets only 400 daily active users and with CryptoKitties you can collect uh, digital images of cats which uh, every image is unique to itself and then you can combine those images uh, if you maybe have a male cat and female cat you can raise those uh, digital cat images which is just fun to talk about because you can buy those cats for tens of thousands of dollars because if you get some kind of rare cat that maybe nobody in the world has you can sell it for a huge amount of ethereum and some people that got into this game really early and they collected some really rare cats because 
as you get more and more cats you will go through more generations and those cats are worth less and less unless you get something really special so if, if you got into this game with, with generation 1, 2, 3 or something really low, low like that you could make a lot of money and this is the only game that is in like top 20 of Ethereum uh, applications that can be used and this just shows again how early we are the only game that you can play right now on Ethereum network is just to collect the digital cat images now every image is special because it is part of a Ethereum smart contract and you cannot get to the same cat images because there are billions and billions of different combinations and the last thing that is that gets number five is local Ethereum, and you can of course buy over here Ethereum locally. You can buy through PayPal, International Wire, with gift cards or with Venmo. You can select your country where you are from, and then it will show you the closest person that you can buy Ethereum from. And this only gets about two to three hundred daily active users. So if you take a look at how many Ethereum dApps get at least 100 daily active users there is only 20 of them so if you go to 21st or 22nd most popular uh, ethereum dev it has less than 100 daily active users and this is just insane to see at how little people actually utilize the ethereum network but you cannot actually use it for more than that because it only gets 15 transactions per second and when CryptoKitties was really popular it completely halted the Ethereum network the transaction time was so slow the fees were incredibly high because if you get a few thousand people doing transactions like every few minutes of course that Ethereum network cannot do that because it is actually really really slow compared to some other uh, coins for example, coins can do like few thousand transactions per second and some of them are working on 10,000, 50,000 or even higher numbers than that. But Vitalik Buterin, the main guy behind Ethereum, said that they could achieve up to 1 million transactions per second in just a few years. And now let's take a look at how many transactions per day Ethereum could actually do with 15 transactions per second. So we have 15 transa transactions per second and we get 900 per minute we get 54,000 per hour and let's see how much we get per day so we get 1.3 million transactions per day and if you get some ins insanely popular app that gets 1.3 million people using it and if every one of those people just do one transaction per day nobody else can use Ethereum because the network gets Locked. And this is the reason why we don't have more popular dApps, because you cannot use anything more popular than you have now, with the most popular being Edex with 6,500 daily users. And if every one of those people would do like 100 to 200 transactions per day, then there would be no transactions left for any other people. So we have to wait just a few more years and everything will look a lot better, really a lot better than it does now. And we will just be laughing at how could we actually think that the people could use tens of thousands of people could use some dApp with 15 transactions per second. So thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what you think about it and see you soon in another one. Bye.